right, so today is going to be assembly day. So I have my igloo paper um, colored and ready to go. Um, now you could, like from my other one, cut out your um, kind of where I have blue is where you would cut out, right? You would leave your igloo, your trees um, there and kind of keep that in all in one piece and glue it to a separate piece of paper for a blue sky. I just chose to color mine blue here because that's probably what most of you will do and it is a little bit more simple. So if you really want to challenge yourself and try to cut that out, you can, but you do not have to. So have that ready to go. And then um, I also need another piece of paper just blank. And now these two pieces were the same size when we started. And remember I cut the bottom of this one off to use for my extras. So with your blank one, um, they should be the same size, or at least they were when you started. And for this one, this fresh one, we want it in front of you like a shower. We are going to make an accordion fold on this now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom and take this straight edge or the short edge. It's in front of me like a shower, and I'm going to fold it up. So I'm going to go maybe about an inch up. So what I'm doing is I'm checking the sides here so that this edge lines up with this one. And if they do that, then I know it's going to be straight. So I'm going to hold down with one finger and then crease. Okay, so now we have to do that again. We have to go the opposite direction. So we're going to flip our paper over. So this little piece now is going to be on the back side. And now we're going to flip it towards us. So we're going to use the sides again. Try to keep your, um, your little folds about the same. If it's not perfect, it's okay. Um, but if it is more perfect, it'll be easier to work with. And again, that those signs are light up, lined up. Now I'm going to crease. And then every time I get done with that, then I'm going to flip it over. And now I'm going to fold away from me. And I will repeat this until I'm all the way done. So now that I have it all folded, you can kind of see I can open it up and kind of stretch it like an accordion or, you know, if you ever made a paper fan, that's how you make a paper fan as well. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. So we're going to kind of have the longer end in front of us like this, and we're going to take one end and fold it over to the other. And So what's going to happen is these two center pieces are going to get attached together and then this will kind of spread out and then we'll glue this back piece to our drawing. So you guys can glue these two together. So that's the two here. Um, I'm going to use tape because it will obviously be faster. So you can use glue or tape or maybe even a stapler if you have a stapler. So let's go ahead and get those attached. Here's my girl that I cut out from last time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue her to this paper and then I'll put my other ones popping out. So kind of plan where you want all these things to go and we want to do this um, before we attach it to our pop-up base. It'll just be easier to work with when our paper is able to lay flat. So I'm just putting glue um, right around the outside. If you glue on the outside, the inside's not going to go anywhere. So don't over glue and find a good spot where it's not blocking too much stuff. Um, you don't want to hide all of your extraordinary drawing details that you already made and get those glued down. Okay, so I have all my little pieces cut out and I have um, my base ready to go. So I am going to just take a look at this and see how um, where this folds. So what I'm going to do is I am going to insert my drawing here into here and glue it down. So I'm going to put some glue right on this strip. So originally I had it like this, so just kind of see which way it's going to fit. So you might have to do a little bit of thinking and planning and sort of just jumping into things. So I'm going to put a kind of a thick line of glue here. And I'm going to take my picture, and they are the same width. That's why we um, used our papers the way that we did, in, the right, in that direction. And then I'm going to 
press and hold that down until it is secure. So you might need to do that for a minute or two. Just make sure everything is nice and tight. And then um, I think what I'm going to do as well, depending on how your, strong your paper is, you might need to do this, but I'm going to put some glue on this side as well so that when it stands up, it um, is attached to that as well. So I'm just going to put some glue on the front here of my drawing. And now I can kind of press all that down. You want to make sure you have a, a good hold, otherwise things might start falling apart on you. So be patient with this part and make sure everything stays down. Okay, so it is holding tight, standing up tall. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to think about where these little guys are going to go and they're going to kind of stick in here. So that's how it will come up from the top. So let's lay it back down so we can see it again. Now I want to be thoughtful about where I put these. So if I put this person right here, right, they're going to kind of be in front of them. So maybe kind of put them off to the side so you can still see all your details. Think about how high or low you want it to go. I think that would be too low. So maybe have just the, the feet have glue on them. So I'll do that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the boots on the back side. And just stick them, press and hold. So that person is in front of them. And then we don't cover up her. And we can still see our igloo from different directions. And then I'm also going to stick my snowman maybe over on this side. I think maybe I'll bring him up a little bit further to the front just so um, I have a little bit more dimension going on. We have some more things happening in the front and not just towards the back. And after I get this done, I might decide, I might take a look at it and decide I need something else over here. There's a lot of white space still, so maybe I will need to balance that out, put another tree there or even like another little person. And then have my little Arctic hair. And I think they look good right there. So just kind of make sure you're thinking about these before you place them in so that you are um, not just rushing and making um, hard and fast decisions. Sometimes going slow is really the key to success. So I'm going to take a look and see what this looks like from our uh, different angle so we can really see how it's supposed to be. So here we can see my piece of artwork from the proper angle. We can see that it sits up on its own. We have at least two little critters or things in our pop-up. So we actually have three. So this little person right here is kind of popped up as well and our snowman and our Arctic hare. Now, if you look at this and decide you need some more, like this space looks kind of empty to me. Um, I don't know what I would put in there, but maybe I could put another little bunny in there or something else just to kind of um, bring it back to life because it's so dull in there. So as you look at it, make sure that you like the way it is and then you can make changes and modifications if you need to. I uh, really hope that you guys had fun with our little igloo pop-up scene and I can't wait to see pictures of your work. Thanks guys.